Therese K. Trill here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have something that I'd like to share with all of you guys. And this is something that I can really relate to. It's really personal. And I believe that all of you can relate to this. So what I'm about to share has something to do with how God disciplines His children as a mark of His love for us. So as you can tell in our lives, and I'm sure you can agree to this, all of us at some point have asked God to change us. We cry out to God, we lift up our hands in church and we say, Lord, I need change in my life. But sometimes the kind of change we really want is not really for God to change us and our heart and our attitude, but for God to change the situations around us and for God to change the people around us. But if we really want ourselves to bloom and if we really want to be developed and if we really want to improve and become better, then that's not the kind of change that we should be crying out to God for. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with asking God to change your situation, to turn it around for good. But what I am trying to say is that not at all times in our lives will everything around us go as we want it to go or to be the way we want it to be. There will be things that will be out of our control. You need to learn to be more flexible. You need to learn to adapt. You need to learn to change because we cannot expect others to change if the change will not start in us. So I'd like to read from Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 5. This is something that I always go back to whenever I feel discouraged, when God is trying to correct me about something, when God is disciplining me, when God is confronting me about an area in my life that he wants me to change in. This is what I go back to time and time again. It says in he Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 5, And have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by its father? If God doesn't discipline you as he does all his children, it means that you are illegitimate and are not really his children at all. Since we respected our earthly fathers who disciplined us, shouldn't we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits and live forever? For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us so that we might share in his holiness. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So if you are in a tight situation right now and you feel like you are being stretched and you are in pain right now and you can really hear the voice of the Holy Spirit confronting you about a certain area in your life. Maybe it's an attitude problem that you have. Maybe it's a cycle of sin in your life. Maybe it's a certain bondage that, wa that God wants to get you out of. Well, whatever the case may be, I want to encourage you to submit yourself to the process that God is putting you through. I love using the example of gold being refined by fire because gold has to go through fire in order for the impurities to be lifted from it. And same is true with us. We are like gold being refined by the fire. It's like we're going through the fire of God's discipline and correction and chastisement. And it is up to us if we will submit or fight the process where God is bringing us through. If God is calling you into the fire to be corrected, to be rebuked, to be, to be pruned, to be developed, then I would suggest that you just say, yes, Lord. But you know what? It's easier said than done because I have gone through this several times and I'm going to be quite transparent with all of you guys that there have been seasons in my life wherein God was trying to correct me about something. He spoke to me specifically about something that needs to change in my attitude, in my outlook, my perspective, or even sometimes how I treat others. And you know what? When God spoke those words to me, I wasn't all like, oh, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. I'm more in love with you now than ever. No, the truth is during those times when God spoke those words of correction and rebuke upon my life, the truth is I actually withdrew myself. 
I ran away from God and I hid because I was not comfortable with the heat of the fire. I wanted to avoid all discipline. I wanted to avoid all counsel. I wanted to avoid all wisdom. And maybe you're in that situation like I was before, wherein you're running away from the fire that God is trying to put you through. Imagine yourself like that gold that I mentioned earlier. God wants those impurities to be removed from your life, but you keep running and hiding. And guess what? By doing so, you are actually just prolonging the process. And it kind of reminds me of the people or the Israelites who were in the desert or in the wilderness, and God wanted to bring them into their promised land. God promised them something. God prophesied something over them. But the problem is they took too long in the wilderness because of their disobedience. And the same is true in our situation right now. If we will choose to harden our hearts and avoid the discipline that God is putting us through, we are just prolonging the agony. We are prolonging the season of suffering that we're going through. Just like what it says in the word of God, there is a suffering that each of us must go through according to the will of God. So one of those sufferings that we go through that's according to the will of God is the chastisement or the discipline of God. Because just like in, in the verses that we read earlier, it says we must endure. In Tagalog, tiisin mo. So God is saying, you must endure the hardship of being disciplined by God. Just like a child being spanked or a child being disciplined by their parents, it is not enjoyable. It's not like you're excited to get a spanking. But when you do submit yourself to that discipline, you're acknowledging your mistakes and you're allowing yourself to be changed by that discipline. And I myself am a parent. My daughter is now three years old and we do discipline her in different ways. And sometimes the hardest thing is to say no. We always want to say yes because we want to please her. We want her to always smile. We want her to be happy. But sometimes I need to say no for her own good. So maybe some of you guys are in that situation wherein para kang nagtatampo sa Panginoon dahil sa pagdidisiplina niya sa'yo, imbis na makita mo ito na isang mabuting bagay, para kang napanghihinaan ng loob. So if you are feeling discouraged right now, I just want to repeat to you the words straight from the Word of God. It says here, do not be discouraged or do not lose heart. Music